better and sort functions will allow us to automate the sorting of our data. Those functions are very useful for our reports and dashboards. As an example, here I attach a table with several columns showing the issues location, who's assigned to that issues, date of receival for that issues, the level of impact for that issues, and finally the status. The example I will give here is how to have a unique list of the issues and its status based on the location which I will base here in cell number 4. The first step now is to write a formula to create a list of locations which we have at our table. By go here and typing unique, open bracket. For the array, we will choose the states which we have here. Close the bracket and then enter. Now we have a list of the states without any duplication. Note that the states are not alphabetically ordered. So we will just go back to the original formula and insert the formula sort function. Just write here sort, open a bracket and then close it. So now we have the states in decent order and automatically arranged alphabetically. Now in cell G4, we are going to create a drop down list of those states. So we will just go on data tape, choose data validation. From those options, I will choose list and source of data will be those states. Then enter. So now we have have a drop down list of those states arranged alphabetically. So the next step will be extract some information from that list which we have created here. So to extract those information, we are going to use filter function. From the table here, we are going to extract the information of the person who is the issue assigned to, the date they receive it, and the level of impact for that issue. So now we are going to type filter function, open a bracket, and then choose the information we wanted in the drop down list here, which will be the person assigned to the issues, the date they receive it, and the level of impact. Comma. Excel now will ask for what to include and that will be the issues with still outstanding and that will be the fifth column equal to no close the bracket four then we want to make sure that the location mentioned in the first column is equal to the one mentioned in cell number g4 close the bracket now we are having the issues which have not been solved for each state along with the dates and level of importance Now, in order to sort the list by issues received dates by the oldest at the top, we go back to that cell and insert sort in front of filter formula. The first argument in sort is the array, and the answer is that the existing filter options. So we kick all the way to the end of the filter function and type comma. Then we have question to provide index number, which should be the column number we want to sort by. And in this example, it's the date, which is column number two, comma. Then we are going to choose ascending, which is the default option. So now the array is assorted by the dates from oldest to the recent. Now, if we would like to have an option to sort the data by combination of requirements, let's say I want to sort the data by the level of urgency, imagining that level 3 is the most important on the top of that list. So at our example, Colorado have two issues with level 3 urgency and different dates. In order to list that probably, we came back to sort option and go back to sort index and enter a curly brace inside this formula and before number two i want number three which is the level of urgency column so the second assort option will be the dates then close the curly brace adding another comma this will bring us to sort order argument from before so for this example we will use the descending which is presented by minus one to have the data sorted from level three to level one open a brace again type minus one and we will use ascending order to present the number one from receiving column to have the oldest dates at the top. Close the brace. After running the formula, we can see now the issues is sorted decently by the level of urgency, whereas the level three is the most important. And we can see the sort by receive column take over as a second option. So see how cool is that? Once you choose the state here, you will have all the issues which are still not solved in a decent order by the level and the date received. This is very useful for your reports and dashboards.